Jake Fusak, number 59, offensive lineman on the UB football team. I grew up in Williamsville, which is, you know, right just opposed to the campus. Played JV as a fresh, when I was a freshman, and then the second game of JV, I got called up to play varsity. I got moved from middle linebacker to D end, and then played defensive end from sophomore, from junior to senior year, uh, along with offensive tackle, and uh, got offered by UB, uh, among a couple other schools. I weigh in, right, and uh, I do what was called an EKG and um, mine showed a little bit of an irregularity for some reason. Um, and then they brought me to a, a cardiologist, which is not uncommon for big athletes to have irregularities in their heart. I went to a cardiologist here in Buffalo, and after a couple, uh, you know, a, 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 a testing, I showed signs of um, a disease called hypertrophic car cardiomyopathy hocal with obstruction. On June 27th, they told me I couldn't play anymore. With the help of the UB, UB Medicine, uh, we went through all this testing, right? And then at the end of it, we ended up with a doctor in um, Massachusetts who is the one of the world's leading sports cardiologists. And uh, he pretty much um, told me that, you know, I'm pretty cool with you playing again. The tail end of that season, uh, I kind of got my feet wet a little bit. And then spring, I, you know, I played a little bit. And then that fall, I moved to tackle. The transition was, you know, it, it, I went from an average D tackle to an athletic offensive tackle. You know, that allowed me to play and make the transition a little bit easier because I was athletic as far as tackles goes. I really feel like I was opened up as an offensive player. I got to, you know, experiment with a couple different things and, and, and do things that I think were better suited to my success. And I think that how the offensive line played this season was evident of that. Good blocking up front. Like I said, he got through the hole. There was no one at the second level. And he just had free grass in front of him to take and eat up, which of course he does for that formation. We're unique in the sense that this year gives us leadership that we've never really had before. Not that we've had bad leaders, but we've had, we're the most seasoned at that point in our, on our team. Um, and I think that'll only help us. I want to wake the sleeping giant that is, you know, Buffalo fandom for UB. I do think that we're getting there and it's freaking sweet.